think the American experiment in self-government is worth holding on to. Give Max Lynn a minute. Every time I've run, it's with that in mind. And he'll tell you exactly what he thinks. Lynn has strong feelings about government and the economy, and they've led him to run four times for high office, twice in Florida and now twice in Maine. Lynn says he moved to Maine about 12 years ago after a successful career as a financial planner in Florida, where he made those two runs. But Mainers first met Lynn two years ago, trying to run for the U.S. Senate in the Republican primary against Eric Brakey. But after a long battle with the Secretary of State, his petitions were disqualified after fraudulent signatures were discovered. Now he's running again as an independent and arguing the parties are the problem. So the Republican Party, Fiscal Responsibility, Small Government, says, let's print trillions. Trump has said, let's print more. So the Democratic Party says, whoa, what the heck is going on? Now we have to go to maybe four or five trillion. So we have no fiscal responsibility or small government anymore. Thus why I'm running. The issue he's most passionate about, term limits. Lynn says they're essential to repair the political system, even if most in office don't want them. Wherever liberty is not, that's where I want to be in campaigning. And right now, liberty is disappearing in America. But Lynn's approach may not be winning a lot of converts, like that first debate. I would ask if, that you stick with the question. If well, you... uh, request denied. Lynn says he needed to try something to get attention to his independent campaign. His aggressive style also shows up in his podcasts. I'm going there to raise hell and break the furniture and I asked if all of this creates an image that might scare off potential supporters. Is that you're this kind of of Cowboy. wacky guy who just wants to blow everything up. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call it wacky guy. I would call it a sincere American patriot that knows the current system is rigged and it doesn't represent the people. Other issues, COVID relief. Lynn says the country is going bankrupt from all the bailouts for corporations, but would provide grants to every Maine household. And since Maine has been crippled, I want to go after at least $5,000 per Maine family. And my, my second part of that is I want $500 billion for small businesses. For health care, he says everyone should have it. I'm the only opponent on the stage that is a health care expert. Okay, I'm not an expert in many things, but I, I'm sure, certainly worked with health care more than any of, uh, of Susan or Sarah. But no specific plan other than a mix of public and private. And he would wipe out America's current $1.6 trillion in student debt to bolster the economy. But Lynn says what Washington really needs is him instead of the party candidates and says he would have more clout in Congress. If I win, Maine stays the most influential state in the country for the next six years. But Lynn also admits his kind of change might not be quick or easy. And that's why I want to get there and be the only voice carrying the American flag, Western civilization, the Bill of Rights, Constitution for small government and fiscal responsibility. I'll be the only one. There's one, me. In Bar Harbor, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.